Hello, I'm going to tell you today why I think Buddhism is very simple. And I hope this talk is helpful to you. So I'm going to start with a quote, and this is not a quote from the Buddha. This is from Confucius, who uh, was a Chinese philosopher, uh, roughly a contemporary of the Buddha. And he said, Confucius said, life is simple but we insist on making it complicated. Life is simple, but we insist on making it complicated. So, what do you mean by that? I think uh, we could also say happiness is easy and all the things we do to try to find happiness make it hard. So, but I'm talking about the Buddha and Buddhism and why Buddhism is simple. So we think of the Buddha as this grand spiritual teacher, right? The Buddha. He is the one we look up to. And, but I sometimes think, what if he wasn't? I think of, when I picture the Buddha, I picture a, a practical person, someone who's a lot more interested in what we can do in our lives than in some complicated teachings about time or reality or spirits or whatever and that seems really obvious to me the Buddha came up with this unique idea that idea is the truth of suffering and how to overcome it he was an innovator he was a spiritual innovator and he but after his death he was followed by a series of teachers who turned his ideas into a religion and also a philosophy also a complicated philosophy and the way he taught it was really neither he said I teach only suffering and the way out of suffering. He was just a guy who was encouraging people to f find freedom and to experience life more fully by engaging in the present moment. That's it. By cultivating awareness and compassion. And the truth is, the teachings of the Buddha weren't always complicated like they are, like they are today, but they have become very complicated over the years. And the truth is that he just encourages us to face reality as it is. And once in a while, there's a famous Buddhist teacher who, a uh, famous, a Buddhist teacher who comes along that says, hey, we're making this too complicated. And we can read their teachings too. I'm thinking of Bodhidharma, the Zen patriarch who brought the Zen teachings to China. He, he saw how the Buddhists he met there, who were there before him, were just debating all the time about complicated doctrines, and it's sort of like a how many angels can fit on the end of a needle type of thing. It's just, they were just not practicing, they were just sitting there talking about these complicated ideas they had about the teachings, and he just said, well, no, we need to just, just sit. We need to just engage our meditation practice, and that's the center of the teaching, and a lot of these other things can be a distraction sometimes. It can be hard for us to accept how simple things are. And that's why people have gone out of their way to try to make Buddhism more complicated, make it bigger than it is. I've taught a lot of people how to meditate over the years, and I can't tell you how many times that I, I give the practice. Okay, we're going to sit, we're going to arrange our legs this way, we're going to put our hands here, we're going to just follow the breath and a lot of times people I don't know what they're expecting but they come and they're like that's it that's that's the practice and then I'm like yeah but they expect it they expect it to be more than the practice of being right here so that's why I make the argument that Buddhism is simple but we do insist on making it complicated thank you for listening